Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, click. Alright, you know what it means when I wear this hat. It means Christmas in August. Somebody came bearing gifts. Let's take a look. Look at that little cutie. Ooh-hoo! A seven and one half. And yes, it turns over. And it has 85 PSI with just a pull start on each cylinder. Hasn't been run in years. Got the old dual line Siamese fuel hose. This is all broke. Not to worry. We're going to make her pretty again. Make her run. I believe it's a 1956. Little cutie. Fella brought in a chainsaw for me to repair and said, Oh, I wanted to give you this. So, I said, You can give me that. You understand? So, it's Christmas in August. Hey! It's me! Billy Ray! I'm the best commercial fisherman in the whole North Territory. Yeah, what can I do for you? I was driving by. I saw you parting out them motors again. I was riding with my blood cousin, Trader Jim. He had an idea. He's the best trader in the whole North Territory. He said, we'll do some trading with you for them parts what you throwing in the heap. He said, we make us a lot of money. Well, I mean... You know, I kind of know the market on what people use and what they don't use around here, and... I don't do the trading. My cousin does the trading. You gotta talk to him. I'm not a trader. I'm a commercial fisherman. I go get him. I'll be back. Hey there, young fella. <laughs> it's me. Trader Jim. I know, I know. Blood cousin, third connected. I was thinking, you know, maybe you give me all them parts and two or three good running motors and we'll give you some fresh rock cod. Yeah. Caught this morning. Yeah. In the round hole. Still fresh, a kicking. Well, not exactly kicking, but heck, heck, they're really nice. Yeah. Yeah, them are some nice looking rock cod. Nice and fresh, smell fresh. Eyes are nice and clear. Pretty good looking stuff there. We might have to do us some trading. Well, you know, I could I could trade you some of them parts, but I got something that's probably as an experienced trader like you, you'd know what you're looking at for sure. Let me get it. I'll show it to you. Oh yeah? Even better than them parts? Oh yeah, for sure I'd like to see it. Check this out. Here it is. Whoa! Look at that. Isn't that something? Wow! Look at that. Whoa! That's nice! Uh, it it kind of looks like a spark plug. Uh, uh, you know, a spark plug. <laughs> this just ain't any spark plug. This spark plug's world famous. This came from that there cook fella. What was the first one to ever take a single cylinder outboard rowboat motor and drive it up from Seattle to Alaska. 
It's super rare. I guard it with my heart. I hide it. I keep my little box hid. I had it chrome plated. It's that special. Boy, if you was to put this on the old internet auction, who knows? Who knows what you could get for something like this? A spark plug that rare? With that kind of history? Heck, who knows? You could maybe even get a million dollars. A million dollars? Well, yeah, I'll take that deal. Well, hey there. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's me, uh, Trader Jim. Uh, Trader Jim, I didn't expect to see you back so soon. What's the problem? What's, what's up? You know, I know we made a deal, uh, but uh, Billy Ray wasn't all too happy with that uh, spark plug. He, he, he said it looks pretty much just like any other normal spark plug. I was thinking maybe we could, uh, like, you know, you know, kind of untrade, you know, like reverse trade, you know? <laughs> what do you think? Well, we shook on it. You made the deal. That ain't no ordinary spark plug. Heck no. I, I told you where it was from and what it was. I know. So you threw in a couple extra rock cod to sweeten the deal. I, you know, that was your deal. You offered, I took. We shook. Well, yeah, I understand it. We shook on it, you know, but, uh, yeah, you know, Billy Ray, he, he's got a temper, you know, and he, he kind of, you know, you know, uh, well, heck, man, he, uh, you know, he kind of blames me. Well, I suppose I could throw something else in. It's not something that just anybody has. I had to go through a lot of work to get it. But I had connections. Oh, yeah? Something else valuable? Oh, yeah. That would make, that would make Billy Ray happy and get, get me off the hook, you know? And, uh, yeah, what, what do you got? I'd love to see it. Want to see it? It's awesome. Maybe I can throw that in and we'll be square, okay? Okay, let me get it. You're, you're, oh, wait until you see it. You ready? You're not gonna believe this. It's valuable. Took me a lot to get it. Here it is. Uh, I don't know, that, uh, that looks, you know, like a regular sock. This ain't no ordinary sock. Jeez, man. Thought you was a traitor. This ain't no ordinary sock. Oh no. This is a rare sock. Oh, it's precious. Yeah. Well, oh, just look at it. This come from that History Channel show. Naked and Afraid. Oh, this is valuable. Real valuable. Real valuable. Yeah. I paid big bucks for this. Had to do a lot of logistics to get a hold of it. You know, it's not easy. Run around up in them woods looking for naked folk. But I got one. Yeah. Or I could throw it in. Oh! Ah, I love that show! And I, you know, I know! That's one of Billy Ray's favorite show! You know, anything to do with naked! <laughs> that's Billy Ray's favorite show! He really likes that show! So, yeah, oh, well, I'll make that deal! Okay! Are you guys ready to see a little cutie? It's a little cutie. Here she is. There's the little cutie. She's all done. That's all. Yep. She's all done. The little Johnson. Seven and one half. 
So, she came out pretty. Not at all original, but uh, I happen to like that holiday bronze copper colored paint, so that's what I went with most of. I still got some white on there to prop the decal, the face. But I'm okay with it. Looks pretty good. Well, let me get my hose and tank and stuff, and we'll get her in the tank. Be right back. See my pee tube? Cable throttle right there so that's as modern as I know how to make one and I'll show you something else about that p-tube I would like to print out to you I will print it out to you In keeping with the theme, uh, see? see that P tube? It's brass. I got a nice brass uh, washer and then a nice brass P tube outlet that I made. And I kept, see all the other hardware? Brass, brass. I looked for a brass cotter key down here for the, the propeller cup thing. I didn't have, I don't have one, but I'm going to pick one up at the hardware store next time I go. So I can have brass. But she came out pretty nice. I probably, uh, I, yeah, I don't know how more in keeping uh, as a, a modern outboard I could make it. Um, yeah, I had a couple other ideas, but I was just like, eh, it's probably not, not practical. But uh, I got the little badges on the side back on. I wish they were brass, but they're just tin. But uh, the decal for Johnson and the Seahorse, I just went with what I had. Those were a cheap set I got off the internet probably three, four years ago for about four dollars. And that's good enough. I still got, need to get my find my choke handle. I know I got one. Um, I was just using that little screw. It screws in, it's the right size screw. And, and I mean it does just fine, you know. There's off, there's on. It does just fine, but there's supposed to be a handle there 
first. And I got it laying around here somewhere. But uh, yeah, she's as tricked out modern as I could get her and she's just a little cutie. Runs really sweet, it really does. It, uh, I can get this thing, if I play with it with the adjustment knobs there, I can get this thing to idle. I mean, just pop, 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 pop. It's fun, fun to play with. So, that's the little cutie. All ready to be displayed this summer. If summer ever comes. It's pouring down raining out there. Everything's wet. Grass is green and growing, but boy, it's went back to its rainy state. Oh, fret. He's fretting today. He's sitting there with water on him. So you know he's fretting. But there's the little cutie. All done. Took me a while. But uh, like I said, the, adding the uh, telltale to it was just a last minute afterthought. And I thought of a way that I could do it. And I said, I'm going to give it a try. And lo and behold, it works good. So, get you back over here. Over there. So, that's a wrap on this beautiful little 1956 Johnson 7 and 1 half. Not 7.5. No. 7 and 1 half. What's the point of, of doing one of these motors like this? And you're like, you know, you took the time to sand it down and you didn't even use the right paint schematic and then The point all along of doing these refurbs, not restorations, is I'm hoping that there's a grandpa, grandma, who has a granddaughter or a grandson. I bet because this motor was given to me with the Nova chips, the water pump impeller I put in there, the paint, Everything I did to it is probably, I, I bet I don't have $75 into it. So, um, there will be hardly anything that a, a, um, uh, a parent could do, or a grandparent, as to go find one of these older outboards, and it don't have to be this old. I mean, you can get them from the 80s, 70s, cheap. They're everywhere. Get you an old Johnson Evinrude, and get your young person and get them hands-on make them sand that bonnet or paint this clean that hook up this help you hook up that um, and then get you an old tin boat or a john boat or whatever for cheap throw something like that on there and put that young person driving and on that tiller you will never see a bigger smile and you you will never give them a better memory than that at least I remember when it happened to me, and I, I just, if my channel inspires anything, I hope that's what it is. It's, uh, and that's why I do these little, you know, besides how-to videos and whatnot, I do these little refurbs. Um, just, it's something that a parent, grandparent, with their youngins can get into, and it's cheap, it's inexpensive. Um, and then if you happen to, you know, have carpentry skills and stuff like that and can build a small wooden boat, to throw something like this on and uh, get in there with that young person and let them drive that boat with an engine that they had their hands on and stuff like that. Tell you what, good memories. So uh, that's the point. It's not, for me, it's not to make them look original and pristine and, and uh, totally restored. It, but I tell you what, you put a 12-year-old <laughs> a kid in a boat and let him tell his buddies and so forth that that's his motor and this is the boat that you guys built together. Get them off them Nintendos. Off them PlayStation Xboxes and whatever else. Get them out in the sunshine. Let them drive their own boat. That's gonna be a wrap for this one. Thanks for watching. 
Like and subscribe, more vids are coming on Inside Out Sports with Cody Bass.